All right, guys. So the impossible became the possible. Something we never thought would ever happen actually happened. That is, Broly became canon, and right now he's in the official continuation of the original story. And as said by Akira Toriyama himself, Broly is not just popular over in Japan, but also in the entire world. He is loved by millions and millions of fans worldwide. So Broly became a reality because of the fans' support, because the fans really wanted Broly to be a thing. And right now, that really got me thinking: Who is the one other character that the fans would really like to see become a reality? In the Dragon Ball series, and that is actually Cooler. In the past, Cooler had his own movies, but those movies were not written by Akira Toriyama himself, so it's considered not canon, not part of the original story. And as you all know, Cooler portrayed as the brother of Frieza in the past movies. Now, if Akira Toriyama was able to bring back Broly and make him a reality, then guys, to bring back Cooler, it'll be really easy for him, because guys, Broly's past. He was able to rewrite it without any problems. The new Broly's past is much, much better than the old one. With this new Broly, the fans can easily connect to him, and also, this new Broly is much different than the old one. This brand new Broly, guys, is more human-like. This new Broly shows actual emotion. So Toriyama could easily rewrite Cooler into the original continuation of the Dragon Ball series. Toriyama could easily connect Cooler with someone that we know. And that is Frieza. So today I'm gonna give you guys a possible story that they could do to bring Cooler into the original continuation of the Dragon Ball series. And guys, do keep in mind that this is just my story; it's nothing official, so do keep that in mind. So this story begins with Frieza finding out that Beerus's life is linked to the Supreme Kai's life. So if Supreme Kai dies, then Beerus also dies as well. So after Frieza finds out everything, the Frieza goes to visit the Supreme Kai. And as soon as Frieza arrives there, he shoots a death beam directly at the Supreme Kai. And the Elder Kai. Realized what was going on, he knew what Frieza was up to. So he quickly jumped right in front of the Supreme Kai, and as he was falling on the ground, he told the Supreme Kai to go and get out of here. And with fear and sadness, the Supreme Kai instant transmission into the world of Beerus, and the Supreme Kai immediately informed Whis what exactly happened. And Frieza right now also knows the instant transmission because right after the tournament of power, he went to Planet Yadrid, and he threatened the Yadridians to show him how to do the instant transmission. And when they did, he destroyed the entire planet. And right now, Frieza followed the Supreme Kai onto the planet of Beerus. And then, guys, we see Biru stepping out of the palace. And then Biru says, "I should have just destroyed you before. Right now, you're just a pain in the neck." And Frieza says, "I'm going to make you kneel before me." And he says that with the most sadistic smile ever, just pure evil. Then we see Goku and Vegeta arriving from another dimension, where we send them for training. And right now, Frieza says, "Do you think I'm foolish enough to come here all by myself?" And right now, Biru says, "Confusion on his face, and everyone as well." Then we see. Figure stepping out of Frieza's spaceship, and guys, indeed, it turns out to be cooler. And the staff that Whis uses all the time it starts shaking, and Whis notices it. And Vegeta has seen Cooler on Planet Vegeta with his father, King Cold, many, many years ago. When Broly first came to Earth, Broly was so strong that Goku and Vegeta had to use fusion to defeat Broly. And Frieza noticed how strong Goku and Vegeta were together as Gogeta. And at the end of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, Frieza says, "This ordeal has brought forth an interesting development, which might come handy in the future." And with that, right now, Frieza's plan is to take down Beerus with the help of Cooler. And as Cooler is behind Frieza, suddenly we see Frieza's eyes turning red, and then we see blood coming out of Frieza's mouth. Then we see a hand that went right through Frieza. From the back, and it was Cooler who just did that. And right now, Frieza, while being on the ground, is in disbelief. And Cooler says, "This fusion is only a child's play." Anyways, you guys, that is about. That's all I have for you guys today. Do let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, guys, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and have a blessed day, everyone.